Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. And today we have a special treat. Uh, we are doing a video on the uh, Philippines Rabbit and Cavey Club at the Philippines Pet Expo 2024. And all the footage uh, comes from Carl Cabesi, who I've been in contact with for um, a few years now. And it's great to see uh, the club develop in the Philippines. I thought it'd be nice for everyone else to see uh, just what goes on uh, across the pond. So the judge for the day is Ari Wardhani from Indonesia. And she's the first ever Arbor Rabbit and Cavey judge outside of the USA. So this is quite a special occasion um, for the Philippines Club here to have her here judging their caveys. I'm sure her wealth of knowledge and experience will help uh, promote the fancy in the Philippines for many years to come. One thing that I thought was very interesting, which we don't see in uh, the English shows, is that there was a microphone so that the uh, exhibitors could hear what the judge was saying very clearly. And uh, you, you can see this uh, throughout, throughout the whole video. Um, there's just a microphone there ready for the judge to speak. So I'll let you listen to what the judge is saying. Um, this part usually less than the, the drum part because this part tends to be have better density than on the side. And sometimes they chew or some other uh, people chew so there's a little bit uneven until the edge of the coat like this one. It's like a little bit uneven and like, but it has very good texture and very good density to the coat. On over there, over here. Can you see it? See it? Can you feel it? Feel with this part. I'm sure all the exhibitors find that um, very useful in their development when they're assessing their own caveys to hear exactly what the judge was thinking uh, throughout the day. The Philippines Rabbit and Cavey Club follow the, uh, the American standards, the Araba standards, and uh, that's what they base their breedings on. So they're breeding to a slightly different standard to we do uh, in Europe and in the UK. Um, saying that is not amazingly different, but you can research them online if you want to see the subtle differences. There were 38 caveys entered into the show, and the show was split between uh, a fun cavey match, basically this is for all the breeds that are not recognised by the American cavey clubs, and then you had the Arbor sanctioned cavey show, which had all the breeds kit for by those. Cavey showing in the Philippines is fairly new, this club was only established in 2022, and they have two to three shows per year. So to be able to exhibit at the Pet Expo, um, it's fantastic because it's a, such a huge event. Uh, it's a three-day annual event for rabbits uh, and guinea pigs and other small animals. And the caveys were uh, available to see on the second day. And hopefully this will get more fanciers interested in showing caveys in the Philippines. And their hobby can grow and the breeds can establish uh, much more freely. It's interesting watching the judging. It's very, very similar to how they judge in Europe. So assessing a single cavey at a time and then possibly comparing the caves together to, to rank them um, first, second and third in the class. And the judge is obviously looking for the cave that is closest to the breed standard and that's going through all the different attributes, looking at the head, the eye, the ear, the colour, the body shape, how the muscle tone lays on the cavey, how the cavey stands, how well they're prepared. These are all things the judge takes into consideration before making their deliberations and making their final placements. And it's a very difficult job, which is why in America, the judges actually have to take uh, an exam and a test before they can even uh, judge a cavey, which is very different to here in the UK. We have more courses that uh, allow you to gain experience, but there's no actual test to take. And you might notice that there are other breeds here that we don't get to see much in the UK, like the skinny pig. We're not currently allowed to show these here in the UK, but here in the Philippines, they're, they're readily available. And uh, it's nice to see some good animals with nice firm flesh on display. A judge skin is over in Sweden recently, and I have to say uh, they're an absolute amazing animal to judge. Um, they're very hot to touch and uh, quite a leathery skin. Um, but very uh, elastic as well, so it goes back to its normal shape very quickly. There are lots of breeds represented here. Uh, Shelties, Teddies, Satins, Himalayans, Selfs in a few different colours. I noticed there are some um, pink-eyed Goldens on display. 
And it's very good to see all these breeds out and about. So I think this show was a resounding success. Um, and it'd be very interesting to actually one day go over and see the show in the flesh. Um, and I will watch the progress of the club and the people showing their KVs with uh, uh, a keen eye. Because I'm sure very soon, uh, with all of the support from people from around the world, they will develop their KVs into absolute top show specimens and be equal to every other country in the world. And on that note, we shall just take a, a final look at the the, the last uh, part of the judging before we go and see the results of uh, who won which section. And uh, this should be very interesting, I would have thought. So the results are in, and uh, best skinny was uh, Carl Cabesi, uh, with a, a, a lovely uh, skinny. It, it stands well. Look at the shoulder development. Uh, lovely KV. The best junior KV went to uh, Christian with a young uh, white Californian still uh, pointing up. The best coat went to Herman, and that was with an American tricolor roan, a very uh, healthy looking KV. And best in show went to the American satin pink eyed cream, uh, a stunning looking KV with huge ears and uh, I think we'll all agree it was a, a very worthy best in show. So well done to uh, Hosel and uh, all the best in the future. Well I hope you enjoyed this uh, insight into the Philippines Rabbit and KV Club and uh, hopefully we'll keep a close eye on them and see uh, many more results from these shows in the future. And until next time I'm Guinea Poo Greg, true bye. <laughs>